All right, I want to answer a very niche question for our Crohn's and colitis uh, patient population as it is Crohn's and colitis awareness week. So the question is, what is a J pouch and can somebody with Crohn's disease get a J pouch? So historically, J pouch surgery has not been done for Crohn's disease. This is a surgery that we have done historically for patients with ulcerative colitis and then patients with a certain genetic syndrome known as familial polyposis. In this surgery, the entire colon and rectum is removed and then we construct this small intestine into a new pouch that functions like a rectum. This is connected to the anus so patients can continue to have bowel movements through their anus even though they are missing their entire uh, colon and rectum. Why would somebody have to have their entire colon and rectum removed in these diseases? Well, in uh, polyposis, they have severe uh, polyps that can lead to uh, cancer down the road and these patients are very high risk of developing these ca cancers because of hundreds or thousands of polyps. Um, in their colon. And then in our ulcerative colitis patients, uh, those who are um uh, failing medical therapy, meaning they've been on multiple medical uh, therapies, have continued to have severe uh, inflammation in their colon um, and rectum, or those who go on to develop dysplasia or cancer related to their colitis are candidates for J-pouch. So in the Crohn's patients, though, because this is what this question is aimed to answer, historically, we have advised against doing uh, J-pouch surgery because if you understand Crohn's disease, you know that this disease can affect anywhere from mouth to anus. And um, unlike ulcerative colitis, where you know the small intestine that we're using to construct uh, the J pouch has a much lower risk of developing inflammation and uh, Crohn's disease within the pouch, uh, those with Crohn's um, by phenotype, by disease phenotype, have a higher chance of developing inflammation and Crohn's disease in their J pouch, and hence pouch complications, and hence ultimately pouch failure and needing an ileostomy. This is old data coming from really old um, studies before, you know, the big um, uh, um, discovery of biologic uh, agents that we have available now before active surveillance um, for patients with Crohn's disease and really coming from data showing that patients who later convert to Crohn's disease um, and were not on medicine um, had a higher chance of failing their surgery. So for patients with Crohn's disease in the current era, this still is a controversial area. Uh, patients with Crohn's disease are thought to have a higher chance of developing inflammation and Crohn's in their pouch. Um, however, with the new biologics that we have available, um, certain uh, patients with Crohn's disease who have really disease limited to their colon and rectum with really minimal small intestinal and anal disease could be candidates for J-pouch surgery.